Okay, stand by for pitch over. So are we coming in? Pitcher is proceeded. And there it is, Houston. There's Camelot. Wide wow. off target. I see it. We got them all. 42 degrees, 37 degrees, to 5,500. 53 degrees. Okay, I've got bar A, I've got poppy, I've got the triangle. That's 2,500 feet, 52 degrees. H dot is good at 2,000. H dot is good. Fuel is good. Going down at 10, cut the H dot. The fuel's good. 110 feet, stand by for some dust. Little forward, G. Bend it forward a little. 90 feet. Little forward velocity. 80 feet. Going down at 3. Getting a little dust. Going down about two. Very little dust. Very little dust. Stand by for touchdown. Stand by. 25 feet. Down at two. Feels good. 20 feet. Going down at two. 10 feet. 10 feet. That contact. That push. Engine stop. Okay, Houston, the Challenger has landed. Roger, Challenger, that's super. Houston, you can tell America that Challenger is a Taurus Littrow. December 11. Cernan, then Schmidt, left the lunar module to begin their first EVA. As I step off at the surface at Taurus Littrow, we'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. Their first job was to unload equipment, including their rover, the electric car in which they would drive to the exploration sites. That's beautiful. This has got to be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. We thank you very much. As Cernan drove the equipment-laden rover, Schmidt carried the scientific experiments package called ALSEP. Hey, do you need me, G? Nope. I'm going to go deploy an ALSEP. Have at it. In Houston, scientists in the science support room watched, correlating and directing their movements. Okay, Bob, I've got my tools of the trade right here. As Schmidt set up the various experiments, Cernan drilled a series of holes both to collect core samples and to implant experimental probes. Yeah. Oh, we're, out, we're out in the ejecta blanket of Camelot for sure now. Yeah. Man, it didn't feel like this stuff was that hard. No, I'll get it. I knew there was something I needed to do. Get the jack in over here, other side. Let me, let me uh, put some weight here. Oh, he's going slowly, Bill. Very slowly. I'm going to get this thing out now that I got it. Boys, you know, that's what you call getting down into your work. Twenty-nine and a half. Yeah, that's 29 and a half minutes from now, but remember, they left this side a little bit late. There it is. Okay. Well, Jim, you better make it clear to Parker that we got to pull out. On the moon and on the Earth, they were fighting time now. There are just so many hours of oxygen and water in the backpacks. So many hours of life in the vacuum of the moon. We're up in this area. Watch that cable. Cable, cable, oh. cable. Watch the cable. Cable number one. You know, they're all fixed, Lee. They'll break the whole world before they'll break the cable this time. With the ALSEP functioning, they left the site for a shortened sampling traverse. Well, many parts of the ALSEP are functioning very well. The uh, heat flow experiment is working excellently. It's transmitting back temperature data. The uh, cooling down is still cooling down from the, uh, the drilling process, and in a few hours, they should be starting to get true heat flow information. Let's see if I can't crack the uh, corner and get that contact. See if I can't get it. Look at the folders out there. Jesus. <laughs> 
It was time to head back to the Challenger, activate experiments, and get back inside. Man. I was strolling on the moon one day in a merry, merry month of December. Now, May. May. May is the month. May, that's right. May is the year of the month. As the astronauts rested, engineers in two nations were working out technical problems of the Apollo Soyuz test program, the first joint Russian and American space mission. Well, the prime purpose of the Apollo Soyuz joint mission is to prove out a uh, compatible docking system and demonstrate that we have compatible operational procedures that will let two different countries dock in space. I think more than that, it has a, certainly a symbolic meaning of these two large powers uh, learning to work together in space, which I believe are the new seas of mankind, the new frontiers, and work out solutions to problems we're in. Uh, Although we're very competitive, uh, we can still be cooperative and assist each other. And I think that this Apollo Soyuz program stands for just that. Oh, what a nice day. Oh, funny there's not a cloud in the sky, except in the Earth. I think that'll stop the dust, that one. They would have one task before they got to work exploring. The previous day, they had broken a rear fender of the rover. The dust thrown up was causing trouble. Apollo 16 commander John Young had worked that night in a pressure suit on a way to fix the fender. Oh, okay. On the moon, the yeah, astronauts put it mind. together. The fender section formed from a lunar map molded with tape, then held in place with clamps from the lunar module telescope. It was a repair that would last the remainder of the mission. Then Schmidt moved out to place one of several explosive packages which would be detonated after they left the moon, mapping the lunar subsurface, much as earthly geologists explore for oil. Cernan would pick him up in the rover for the drive to the first site on this traverse, Station 2. They're somewhere along this rim where they can see. But they're, but they're dropping, Bill, so they must be coming across that. We're right where we wanted to be for Station 2, and it looks like a great place. Big blocks. It looks like quite a bit of variety from here. Different colors, anyway. Pretty hard, isn't it? That boat is going to roll. Man, that is hard. <laughs> Just don't stub your toe. The foreground features are somewhat different, simply because they were farther up under the hill, I think. But that, otherwise, that's remarkable. Powder, it's obviously very, uh, very cohesive because it's, it's uh, the bottom of the core is not smooth. It's very jaggedy and fragmental-like. Gene's finished with the, uh, the uh, core tube. Then we should be able to go. If we get that we get that. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. <laughs> they would sample several locations on this EVA, okay. but none would cause more excitement than the find okay. of the crater called Shorty.